chosen ones where you are where you are where you are where you are chosen ones they are smiling at your text messages your chats with them they are smiling at it but they are doing this in secret and that is what I want to expose in this video and I'll be giving you an advice on how to handle such a situation right so I believe this video is going to be of help to you you know as a chosen one right I don't want you to fall a victim or live in self-pity but I want you to always have your chest up and keep living a victorious attitude, having a victorious attitude and being victorious in whatever aspect of your life. All right, great. All right, so um, these people are texting you, all right, which is a beautiful thing. It could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiance, your lover, or whoever is texting you with the sugar coated words, love words well-loved crafted words which look beautiful which lo looks nice which sounds beautiful which sound nice appealing to the ears all right great and um you are smiling anytime you see their text messages right great um the thing is if you know that they really do love you it is not bad smiling at their text messages and even if you don't know if the text messages is so lovely catchy touchy all right and touches your heart your soul your spirit and makes you feel like you connected with them and you're smiling i have no problem with that that is love that is the frequency of love if that is making you happy making you look cheerful joyous that is okay all right but i want you to remember this that nobody knows how long any given relationship is going to last all right so um i want you to try and love without expectation okay because these people that are texting you that you are smiling at their text messages it is not only you that they are texting or chatting with that same message they are texting or chatting different people about three or more different people with the same messages all right great and um, that is why you need to love without expectation if not you are going to Get a broken heart your heart is gonna be broken and i don't want you to go through such a broken heart again so learn from your mistakes and learn to detach yourself from you know that sort of things okay great um you see a person may love you and still yet continue to cheat on you i believe you know that oh yes there are lots People will continue to love you and yet will continue cheating on you. And you aren't any different from that. You also fall guilty of that when we come to the things of God. All right. So never ever take your relationship too serious. Never take anything too serious in this life. Anything that you're not born with can leave you at any point in time including your relationship including whatever you've acquired on this earth all right great so um don't fall prey to such things okay and as i'm saying even you yourself you are guilty of it because you you love god didn't you love god yes you do you do love god i do love god but day in, day out, we keep on sinning against God, isn't it? It is, 
right? That is the same way. People may love you, all right? Day in, day out, they may love you, but yet they will continue to cheat on you. That is why detachment has to come in. That is why you got to love without expectation, all right? And when you do this, when you love without expectation, when you detach yourself, you know, let me um, break it down for you a little bit. Detachment, when I say detachment, detachment doesn't mean you shouldn't own a thing. You can own something, you can own a property, you can get married to, your, to a wife, to your husband or whoever, okay? You can love your kids, your children, you can love your job, like it, all right? But never attach yourself so much to it. Don't cling on it that without that thing, you cannot survive, you cannot live, you cannot cope, all right? That is detachment. You own the thing, but you don't let what you own controls you, okay? So that is detachment. You may um, have money, all right? But you detach yourself from money, which means you work hard to make the money, but you don't let the money control you, all right? And when you keep living your life this way, life becomes so beautiful, I'm telling you. It's, it, 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 you aren't going to be hurt. You are going to be happy, I'm telling you. You are going to be emotionally happy, socially, physically, morally, spiritually, you are just going to be content, you're going to be joyous, you're going to be happy when you learn to detach yourself from the things that surrounds you, the things that you are not born with. When you learn to detach yourself from such things, I'm telling you, that is when you will enjoy true happiness. But when you attach yourself to things, that is where the pain starts to occur. And the devil, the adversary, your enemy of your soul is aware of this. When the enemies realize that mm, your happiness is in your husband, your happiness is in your relationship, your happiness is in your children, your happiness is in your cars, your happiness is in your house, your happiness is in what you possess. The enemy will always keep fighting what you possess. That is why a lot of marriages, you know, are having attacks because people don't know how to love without expectation, how to love by detaching themselves, all right? They cling on it. They attach themselves. They possess the thing. They own you. No, I have you. You are my wife. You have to make me happy. Without you, I can live without you. And when the devil is, knows this, the devil will become will begin, right? Will begin to start to uh, come against your wife because that is your happiness. And the moment the devil is keep, keep getting your wife down, you are going to be down as well, all right? This is the trick of the enemy. This is what the enemy is using to destroy many homes, many, you know, loving relationship and other things, all right? So as a chosen one, okay, you can get married, you can make money. You can buy the most expensive car, most expensive mansion buildings, all right, if you have the means. But I'm telling you, don't let what you own control you. Detach yourself from them completely. Let your joy and your happiness be on the source, the provider of the blessings and not the blessing in itself because the blessing can go at any time as it comes all right great remember let me give you um a typical example from the scripture abraham when abraham um god bless him at an old age okay um with a son isaac right the same god wanted to test abraham's feet okay so god said Abraham should sacrifice his only son that he has given to him at an old age. All right? Remember, Abraham's faith, okay, was not 
on Isaac. His happiness was not on Isaac. His faith, his happiness, his joy, his contentment were on the source, the provider of the blessings. That is why he was able to obey the instruction of God to sacrifice his son. And God said, Abraham, don't sacrifice your son. This is a ram on a tree there. Take that ram and use that ram instead to perform the sacrifice. All right. If it were to be you and I, we wouldn't do it. But when Abraham acted that way, it was approved of him, a righteous man. Because of obeying the instruction of God, because of he detaching himself from the blessings and he putting his focus, everything on the provider of the blessing, all other things have been added to it. Another typical example, um, that is when we come to the scripture, is that of Job. All right, Job, everything around Job was being taken away. His wealth, his riches, his cows, whatever, right? And was inflicted with sickness, disease. Yet, Job did not look at God in a bad light or curse God. Even Job's wife was telling him to curse God and die once and for all. And Job said, no, you woman, get away off here. I'm not doing such a thing. Because Job was focused on God, the provider of the blessing. I remember there is a quote which he says, must God bless us with all this and not taste some sort of afflictions? All right. So always chosen one, your joy, your true happiness, should be something from within that connect with the source, the provider. And I tell you, when that happens, nobody born of a woman can destroy your joy or happiness because it is not given by people. It is not based on people. It is not based on things. So it can never be destroyed. It can never, all right, be destroyed. All right, that is why I love this song. Jesus gave to me, and no one can destroy it. I have joy in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus gave to you, and nobody can destroy it. It is deep down within you. So always look down, deep down within you, and let your joy and happiness be connected to the source and never ever, okay, um, take anything too serious in this life, okay? Because anything that you've acquired can go at any point in time, all right? So as you are enjoying your love, I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy, enjoy Commit 100%, act as if you count, enjoy every moment, but remember to love without expectation, okay? Because love with expectation is what sets us up for offense. And through the offense, it is the effective instrument that Satan, the enemy, the devil, your adversary is using to get you trapped, all right? Be careful, all right? So that is the message I have for you, chosen one. I believe you are blessed. All right. Thank you for watching. I'm out for now. See you in my next video.